All right, so this tray, I started in the house. Um, this, this tag will tell us that it started uh, 14th of February. And um, they're a small white turnip, gets about the size of a tennis ball. And the Japanese uh, version of them is called Tokyo Cross. They're not like the American red turnip, but they're a good turnip. So I started this tray in soil blocks in the house on the 18th of February. Today is the 4th of March. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to transplant them into this raised bed, which is covered with a material um, that allows light and rain to go through but it does increase the soil temperature some four to five degrees and so being, being that this turnip is a cold weather crop I believe we'll be okay so now let's get started doing our transplanting what I do is uh, remove the row cover so we can get in to do our planting This ground has been prepared with some uh, natural fertilizer that I mix up and uh, with some of the uh, potting mix that I mix up uh, and uh, so it's ready now for for the growing season so first thing we want to do get our tray over here need something to lift the soil block out with And so that's the way a soil block comes out of that. You can see that it's got some roots that are starting to come out and around. So that's fine. So what we're going to do is we'll just dig a small hole, just enough to get that down to the, to the ground level. Okay, we get our next one here. Now this one happens to have two in it. I'm going to leave it. Uh, you could pull one out. Uh, we'll see about later. So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to put it about oh uh, maybe four to six inches apart from the other one there. So we'll dig a little hole, set it down in there, bring the dirt back up around it, and and we'll get one more. All right. Now this one only has a single plant in it, so that's all right. So we'll go over here with this one about four inches down in there. Every once in a while if I see a small small rock I'll throw it out and leaves and things like that. Alright so there is the beginning of this planting of this tray on early spring uh, vegetables. So let's continue with this uh, planting of this to the first down there you can see we've got two rows so now we're going to come back and we're going to move over a little bit and plant the next rows so now we've got the first section I'll call it down to the next uh, fabric support we've got it planted um, and so we'll move on into the next section and keep uh, keep on planting them now we've got down to where we've taken out most of the cell uh, soil blocks that has just one or two plants in it and when you get down to them there are some that have multiple plants in it. 
and I just wound up putting too many seeds in that cell block or soil block. But what you do is you just carefully, very carefully, if I can get one here started out, you get a hold of it like that, just kind of carefully tease it apart. Then you got this plant, and then you got what's left, which we'll tease them apart. And then instead of digging a hole to plant this, mostly I'll probably just stick my finger down there and waller out a little bit of hole and put it in there and then we're ready to go. Alright, so let's get on with that. Alright, so now we've got the whole tray planted. And um, just kind of scan up here so you can see what we're looking like. Probably about maybe 10 feet of this bed is used for that purpose. Now those that I teased apart, they probably will suffer a little bit of transplant shock. But those that the soil block was intact, even if it was one or two plants in it, they won't even know they've been moved. They'll just keep right on growing. So that's the beauty of soil blocks. Get you a jump on starting things and transplants right into the bed. And then I'm going to plant some other things on down to the other end of this bed. So I'm not going to cover it over with row cover right now, but I will before I'm all. And now we've got most of the bed planted. Uh, we got the white Japanese turnips up on this end. In the middle, we got a few plants of um, romaine lettuce. And then beyond that, I've got to set out a few. Um, green onions so that's probably it for right now in this bed so we'll get back and cover this bed well i need to come back in and water it right now and then after that i'll come back and cover it over all right we have the baby bok choy here we've had this growing in the house uh, we started it from seed on the 18th of february this is now the 14th of March, and I'm going to plant, transplant it into that bed right there. Now we've already put some things in here. We've got onions in right here. We got some lettuce up here. We got some uh, little white turnips up there. So now we're going to add to this bed some baby bok choy. A little tool I made here. Sharpen it on the edge a little bit. Help me get those blocks out of there with the baby bok choy in them. So here we go. As a soil block with one baby bok choy in it and so it'll transplant with no shock. So that's the beginning, that's the beginning of our bed, still got a little bit more to go down through there, so I will come back after I get it done.
On the baby bok choy here, instead of trying to make it produce tight clusters of uh, heads like you see in the supermarket, uh, I'm content to just come in and uh, just take the leaves, cut the leaves down at the bottom, down and way down in there. And so that way we, the plant will keep growing, keep on producing more leaves. The green onions, you got two choices. You can cut the tops or you can pull the whole, um, whole onion. Here on the, on the lettuce, it's the same way. I prefer to, um, to go in uh, down in there and cut the leaf down there toward the bottom. That way the plant will continue to produce uh, leaves. Uh, and um, for quite some time. On the white turnips, you got a couple choices here too. Uh, you can pull, just cut the leaves, you eat the leaves as, uh, as, as the greens or in soup. But uh, as it gets bigger, you'll be able to uh, pull the whole turnip there and uh, what we like to do with them is uh, make them into a pickle. So let's go on down here a little bit. So there's one that's getting, yeah, pretty good size. And um, probably about ready to uh, pull and uh, start doing something with. There's others in here that are equally uh, as big. There's one there we could pull it. Let that little one have that brown. Now there's a clump of three in there, but um, we don't worry about them. Uh, there's one over there that's um, getting about ready. So anyhow, they're coming along. So looking down this way, all the way toward the end.